Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. I have not watched my previous haul video where I spent like $500 at Sephora and Ulta. Go check it out. This video is kind of like me trying out some of these products from like Fenty. And I try out the Daisy Marquez palette, guys. So if you guys like to see how it works, then definitely um, keep watching this video. Use new Jaclyn Hill brushes. I got to the entire collection before, but I went and purchased some new ones. So I use those in this video as well. I use this Stila eyeshadow. I just go all out in this video. So if you guys like to see how I get this makeup look, then definitely just keep watching guys. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyes. I have carved my eyebrows and I've also put my eyebrows on. So if you guys are wondering what I use for my eyebrows, I use the Makeup Revolution um, pencil in dark brown. It's one of the dark, it's the darkest pencil that they have. Um, but it just has a spoolie on one side. It's one of my favorite pencils to use. And then it has um, a kind of like a thicker end to it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let's prime our eyes and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer Pro Filter Concealer. 235 that's what I used to carve my eyebrows with now I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with this I'm gonna be looking over here just because I have a huge mirror here guys so we're gonna be opening up a new Jaclyn Hill um, brush set I went to Ulta and I got a new set um, this one's actually for my sister I got the master set which comes with all of like her face brushes and her, her, her eyeshadow brushes and then also it comes with like some extra brushes but my sister hasn't like she hasn't had a set yet and i love her brushes um one thing that i have noticed is that i've washed her highlighter brush and honestly like if i wash this again and pull it out like it's just gonna like her highlighter brush literally is coming out for me like it's it's really disappointing for me but like honestly i'm like no get back in there so i just shove it back in there um so i just have to be really careful with this and it really sucks because I know it's gonna come out like I know at some point it's just gonna give out on me um, and I've only had these for a few months I also had an issue with a with another one I just rem I don't remember which one it is I think it's this one one of the handles fell off I think um, those those are just some things that are disappointing but other than that I love the brushes I love the brush set so I got my sister the eye master collection and the face master collection by Jaclyn Hill we're gonna dive into the eye collection so this is all the brushes that it comes with I'm not gonna go too in-depth with it just because um, this is not what this video is about but this is just all the brushes that you get which honestly is a pretty good price for all these brushes that you're getting I'm gonna go in with this brush this is the JH 30 brush today we're going to be using the bh cosmetics and daisy marcus palette guys it's so freaking beautiful i've used this quite a few times now i purchased it right away it took like almost two weeks to get to my house but this is what it looks like it comes with 20 different shades i believe um and it's so beautiful and this slot that it has right here it comes with a little mirror that you can just slide in it i'm pretty sure if you head over to her channel um she like will have a rundown of this palette but i love watching her daisy has inspired me over and over again i love watching her videos i love her energy these are so easy to work with so i've worked with them a few times but i kind of want to do something crazy today just because i'm wearing tie-dye which i probably shouldn't be doing something crazy because like the shirt's enough but here i am doing something crazier with my eyes i'm gonna go in with as many colors as i can from this palette i don't like the daisy color which is this like blue like tiffany blue right here um it's not my favorite matte ever i try like using it on my lid and it's just kind of like maybe for like a crease color and stuff but like i just didn't it, i wasn't really too fond of this shade right here they do have a lot of fallout so um that's something to consider as well but they are super pig pigmented except for that color that i've used which is daisy like for some reason that's a really hard color for me to get um also the brown one i've had some like patchy spots so like one day i did my eyeshadow and i did like a super dark like eye and I use a brown and it was like perfectly fine on one eye and then the other eye every time like I would add it and blend it it just kind of like like just dusted away and it was like not a true brown so it was just so annoying to work with but that's the only shoe that I've had the black is super dark and pigmented I've only used like two of shimmery shades but the thing is with the shimmery shade you have to be careful whenever you spray them because they can get too chunky on your eye if you know what I'm talking about like um it like grabs onto your wrinkly spots or just makes your eyes look super wrinkly and like kind of chunky um, and then wherever you put on your eyeliner it kind of like just gets all over so um it's just something that i just have to be very careful whenever i spray oh, we're actually going to set to the entire eyelid using naked which is this peachy shade right here my brush is like full but it's just so dusty do you guys see that it's so like powdery set the entire eyes with this 
it's crazy like seeing how my brushes you like are now compared to like what they are brand new because this one's like so like put together and then you see my brush now it's like super fluffy and like used and stuff like that it's just crazy same brush you can just like simply like just like dust dust it off on your hand go into dulce which is this one right here it's kind of like orangey shade so it looks like um like i said again just like the fallout it's just crazy this one looks really subtle but you can definitely build it up so i usually like to build it up in my crease you see that and i usually like to blend like all the way out here i know it's crazy but to bring it in up to my eyebrow and kind of like into my nose i'm so red today this fluffy brush again i'm just gonna go in with the yellow i'm gonna put it in my crease going into the jh 3 2 brush i'm going to go into this karma shade right here which is kind of like an orangey red look at having my brush it's so pigmented i'm gonna keep this lower than the yellow and orange that I used. So I'm trying to just keep it in the crease and kind of just go back and forth for a hot minute. Take it out to the outer corner, into the inner corner, but kind of like keep it kind of under control for a little bit, if that makes sense. And then you can go back in with your big fluffy brush, kind of get those harsh lines. It's a really pretty color. Look at that, guys. Oh, I'm going to go in with the JH33 brush. This one doesn't have a point at all. It's more like a few, like a rounded brush. I'm going to add a passion fruit to it. So this one over here is passion fruit. It's a little bit more berry than bittersweet. I don't know how to explain it. It has like a little bit more of a like a pinky hue to it. This one is more definitely more purple. If that makes sense. I just don't explain it. I know they're so different though because I've used both of them. And they're both completely different. And then this brush is so nice to just like keep shadows where you want it I go all out I'm gonna use this lime green right here it's a shimmery shade so um, it's slime I'm using the JH41 brush which is just a flat like concealer brush um, I'm gonna do it first without any setting spray So this is like maybe like two layers without any of the setting spray added which is honestly not bad it's like pigmented try to add just another layer and see how that looks okay like I said that's not bad at all it's gonna go ahead and add some setting spray for this side Okay, so this is just one layer of the green compared to like three layers of the green. Now we're going to go back in with passion fruit color. I'm just going to clean up, like blend this together right here. And then I'm going to deepen up the inner corner just a little bit. The inner crease just a little bit. And blend it out. So for the face, I've already primed my face. I've used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Primer Plus Moisturizer. This is what I've been using. I'm trying it out. Do I love it? I don't know. I've only been using it for like a week. Um, but so far, I like the way it primes my face. Um, and just because I have really weird combination skin um, and I'm like dry, but I'm oily, it's really weird. So um, this is supposed to moisturize your face and prime your face at the same time. So I love the way it feels on my face. My face does still get oily, but honestly, do I expect a primer, any primer to like just completely take away my oiliness? No, because I feel like it's always going to be there. Um, I just hope that a primer kind of keeps it under control, if that makes sense. Um, this is the face collection. Five brushes, the like foundation brush bronzer brush, powder brush, you have this one which is an angled like contouring brush, highlighter brush. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This is F12. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I did buy this, well, should I try it? I feel like I don't like it. So I bought the Morphe sponge but honestly it's a lot harder than the Real Techniques one. Like the Real Techniques, like I can't say it. The Real Technique one is a really like bouncy 
and I love the way it blends out like underneath my eyes and my foundation but this one's a lot harder so it feels like I'm literally like, pounding my face with it but I bought it because Jaclyn Hill loves that like she uses it for every one of her videos and I tried using the other one which is not really this one that has like this and it's a different shape and I didn't like it but I'm like let me try it out because Jaclyn Hill loves it so I'm like let me try it out but I should have known but it worked the first time with the other one of course it wasn't gonna work with this one um so I've been going back to my real technique so I'm gonna contour our face and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me um concealer in 55 hazelnut so with this I literally have to go so light with it if not I'm gonna look crazy so I just like to put like dots on my face like one two three that's it swipe my chin then my nose I like to just put dots on it too it is this foundation brush that I have here the new one we're gonna go in with the Fenty um, Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 235. Go on my nose, so my forehead, and my chin. my um, everyday powder to set my under eyes so so I dip my sponge in it this is the airspun Cody airspun naturally neutral powder so I like to go underneath my eye and I like to make like a straight line here and then I also really like it for like my nose do you see that but I feel like I can never really get into the inner corner which is really hard for me because like with this I, it's really hard for me to get in my inner corner but other than that I usually that's all I use this sponge for. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty setting powder. Top looks like it's so freaking beautiful. This one is in honey. So it's a little darker for me, but I feel like once I have it on, I can't really tell the difference. I'm just a big fluffy brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill. This is a JH01 brush. That's what it looks like. I usually like grab some of my brush. I'll like tap, look at all that powder, then I'll like rub it in. I grabbed this Laura Mercier, kind of just a mini size of this translucent glow um, powder. So this is not the regular translucent powder. This actually has a little bit of glow to it. Not necessarily a highlighter because it's not like beaming like crazy. It's more of like a subtle, like a glow from within. So I go in with this powder like right here, usually where I would put my highlight. And I just take this highlighter brush, this is a JH09 brush. I bring it up here as well. Put some on my nose, just a little bit as well. This is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter. You guys, this highlighter can be a bit intimidating because of the color. It's a very yellow toned highlighter. So if you guys see that, like you can definitely see it. It's very beaming, it's very glittery. And I can see how somebody can look at this and be like, this is intimidating. But this is the reason why I put on the glow first and then I put this Trophy Wife highlighter on because the glow kind of gives you like a beautiful inner glow. Um, and then this one, you just need to put a tiny bit. Literally, I just like tap one time in it and like, like dust it off. But then I like apply it little by little with this, with the highlighting brush. The bronzer that I'll be using is this Morphe bronzer. It's the Phenom, Phenom, Phenom? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's um, it looks like this up close. It's a very beautiful bronzy color. This is the JH02 brush, and this is what my brush looks like now. If you want to compare. So easy to work with. Like, even if I put a crap ton of this on, I can blend it out so easily. So you can go in with a precise brush. Honestly, on an everyday basis, I just squish my brush like this and kind of like this on my nose and then on the sides. Like, this is my fast way of like contouring my nose. It's just like, ah, like I'm in a hurry. Can you see that? Not bad. This is the NYX Ombre br br Blush. Lord, can I talk tonight? Because 
It only seems like I can't. And I've never used it before, but it's like, look at how beautiful that looks. I go back in with my Morphe sponge. I'm going to get right here in the nose because I feel like I need it. This is what this sponge is also really good at. Like, this part. Like, this is so nice. I'm going to go back into the Daisy Marcus palette. I'm going to use this JH04 brush, which is a tiny, tiny brush. If you guys can see, it's more of an, like a pointier brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush. I go right into Karma. I'm going to kind of put this all over. So this I'm carefully patting because I don't want it to get everywhere. I'm going to go in with Passion Fruit with the same exact brush. I'm going to go in and just on the outer half of the eye add this now i'm going to add the stila little white lies a liquid eyeshadow this tiny tiny brush and kind of like try to fade out so that's like not blending very well okay that's a little scary because it's not blending very well i really want this to work if it doesn't work, we can just add like a like a shimmery shade. Like it's just, I don't think it's working. It's not working, guys. It's just like sticking really awkwardly to the eyeshadow. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it because it's not blending. I think from far away, it honestly looks okay. This is such a bummer. Like, look at this. Can you see that? I feel like this is not working. I guess we can try going in with one of these colors. Um, and I think I'm gonna do, let's go in with the Lucid because I haven't used Lucid yet. Okay, okay, I think we saved this look. So before we add any eyeliner, mascara, falsies, I'm gonna spray my face with this continuous setting spray. The eyeliner that I'm using is my favorite, favorite eyeliner, which is the NYX Matte Eyeliner. Okay, so this is definitely my intense wing. Like, it's so intense, you know? Like, I could cut somebody with my wing. And I'm going to add some mascara. My favorite mascara is the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is the Kylie Lip Kit in Dulce K. gonna add this Kylie lip liner in Dazz. I was gonna try putting Dazzle on. It's more of like a peachy shade. I love this shade with this look. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of me just trying out a whole bunch of new things. If you did like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me your like video suggestions if you want to see a certain video down below in the comments. Or just let me know how your day is going in the comments down below. You can even just leave like an emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. Um, and make sure you click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.